of understanding place value is understanding our base 10 system. So that leads me to think, what is base 10? What does that even mean? When I ask you what base a number is in, what am I referring to? This video is gonna give you an introduction to what I mean by that and help you to better understand our base 10 system. So you might remember that in maybe kindergarten, first grade, you remember hearing that every number was broken down into ones, tens, one hundreds. This is coming from base 10, so our base system. In our society, we use a base 10 system. Here's exactly what that means. Maybe you've seen a ones, tens, and hundreds place value chart before. The math behind this though is where we look at our bases. So when I think about the ones place, really I'm thinking about 10 to the power of zero because we know that anything to the power of zero is one. This is where I get my ones place. Likewise, my tens place, I know that I get that from 10 to the power of one. 10 to the power of one is 10, hence we call it the tens place. If I keep going, I get to the hundreds and I know that I get 10 squared. Are you seeing a pattern? I have to the power of zero, one, two. I can keep going for the thousands place. I've got 10 cubed. So 10 squared is 100, 10 cubed is 1000. If you think back to exponents, you know that that term right there, this 10 piece, that's called the base, right? We have a base and we have an exponent. So when we talk about base 10, I'm literally talking about what's the base number that we are using to raise to this exponential power that gives me this number. Okay, so let me give you an, another example. Let's say we were operating in base two. We could write a very similar example. Now again, you'll notice I have two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two squared, two cubed, and I could keep going, right? Two to the fourth, I don't need to stop. I could keep going forever. But here's where it gets tricky. Now, let's go back to our ones, tens, and hundreds chart. If I'm in base two, and again, I know this because there's my base. If I'm in base two, two to the power of zero is still one. I'm still okay calling it once. However, two to the power of one is two. That's the twos place not the tens place, although I still have a T there, but you get my point. Two squared is now the fours place, not the hundredths place, etc. Okay, so I've got ones, twos, fours, this would be eights, this would be sixteens, I could keep on going, right? Notice that I no longer have a tens place, a hundreds place, a thousands place, I don't have that anymore. Now in base two, I have different named places. Likewise, when I read numbers in other bases, for instance, if I have this number, and when I write numbers in other bases, I write this little like B2 down here, okay? This tells me that I have zero ones, I have zero twos, but I have one Four, okay? So I don't write, I don't read this as 100 base two. I read it as 100 zero zero base two. Again, remember, we don't have hundreds anymore in base two, okay? So it wouldn't make sense for me to call this a 100 though. So what we do is we just say 100 zero zero base two. In the next video, we're gonna look at Egyptians and what system they used. And we're gonna see if you can figure out what base they're operating in.